yeah, I thought it was spiced chickens here. Yeah, everyone's taking photos of it. It's good. That's what you're saying. It's been so popular. Yeah, yeah that's right. The right. distraction to eat more mac and cheese. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is, don't even have me watch on, uh, way too early to be vlogging, but I've got some pretty exciting food stuff going on today, so I thought I'll just vlog the whole thing. So I'm running a little bit late, I've got to head to the gym and head to the office and do some work, um, but yeah, I'll brief you guys on the way. Alright, finally got out the station. The elevator was broken again, so TFL, you've got to sort that out. Anyway, I'm on the way to the gym, but I wanted to show you guys this place which I walk past every day, making sure I don't get run over. So yeah, you guys know how much I like baking, so this place has been inspiration to me, um, walking past it every day. I spend a lot of money here, to be honest, uh, but you know, I can make them myself now, so I don't need to come here so often. Anyway, so it's a horrible day to be vlogging, so I will probably stop until we get to the food markets later on. I've got to hit the gym first and also do some work in the office, so I'll see you guys later. It is lunchtime. It is drizzling a little bit, so I'm going to try and be quick so I don't get drenched. I'm on my way to Petticoat Lane Market at the moment. Market where you traditionally buy fabric and clothes, but they do have a couple of food stores down there. And the reason I've picked this one over Spitterfields, which is around the corner, is because there are some dumplings there, a dumpling store. Cheap and cheerful, pretty good. They also have wraps and stuff as well, which I will show you guys when I get there. Better hurry up before I get wet. Let's have a look at this, it's called a Discount Suit Company. Bit of a dodgy sign. There's actually a secret bar hidden underneath. Um, what you've got to do is just to walk around here and there is this unmarked door. At night it will open and it will lead you down to a secret cocktail bar. Hi, can I get a lunchbox please? Yeah, rice and uh, Rice please. One rice please. So I have found this little area in the city, um, a little garden to have my lunch. Um, so here it is, five pounds, dumplings, cheap and cheerful. Can't really ask for much, no much more than this. But yeah, the reason why I'm doing this vlog today is because I've actually got a restaurant event coming up later on today, which I'll be vlogging as well. A shout out and thank you to Emily from Blend and Basil. She was invited, she couldn't actually go, so I'm going instead to take some photos. But yeah, let me know how you guys are finding these vlogs, these recipes. I posted up another one earlier this week of salted caramel brownies. They are really, really good. Not good in terms of um, calories, but they're so worth it. So give that a go, let me know how it is, and I'll see you guys later on. Okay, so just just got to Fulham Broadway. I am now walking towards the restaurant. Um, there's a place called the Goalies. They are a South, Southern American place, I believe. Um, basically, hot chicken and liquor joint. So it should be fun. Uh, my friend Amanda's also coming. She's running a little bit late. So I am gonna try and look for her first before I go in. It's a couple minutes walk. It should be pretty good. Alright, you're on camera. Hey. Let's get a drink. Okay. This is this is your event? Uh, yeah, so we uh, run the PR for Staglies. Um Yeah, so um, it's Matthew and Jordan. Jordan is here. I'm trying to do this whole vlog thing, so I'm like filming everything. Oh, we love you. Yeah. That's the target there again. Now you're in it. Now you're both in. So, <laughs> what kind of videos do you say? You make some videos as well, right? Spice chickens here, everyone's taking photos of it. It's good. I'm using it. It's so popular. Yeah, that's right. It's a distraction to eat more mac and cheese. <laughs> Good 
we wanted to make something that was like, you know, what we would hang out in in the, the States, or like what our grandparents would have hung out in, which is kind of um, what sort of made us want to do this wall and this collage. But if I, if I don't know what the difference is, and I see American barbecue and Southern American, I think yeah, it's going to talk to you into the same category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also nice, like, it, it, it sort of worked out as well because if we were shortage, there were things we could have done. Like, we got Happy Van Winkle, which I've added a lot of eyes to get. And yeah, no, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. I should probably introduce you. This is Amanda. She is, I don't know what she does, but... Um, oh my god! That doesn't matter. The audience doesn't care. I've only really got about 20 subscribers anyway, so... Anyway, we're on our way home. I'll see you guys back home.